Greetings, and welcome. I trust that you are all wondering why you're here. I want to play a game. Are you easily frightened? Can music scare you? I think it can. Let's find out. the musical elements that get inside of your beating heart in your living human soul. The musical elements that get inside your living brain and make you think thoughts that are not your own. The musical elements that make music is scary. How can music be a scary? Well, the first musical element that affects your brain and beating heart is volume. Volume is most effective when it is loud. But first, when we hear soft volume, we must compare. And then it is effective when it is very loud! Ah, 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 ah! Scary? Yes? Karl Orff, O Fortuna, one of the scariest pieces of music. Our elements besides volume that Karl Orff uses is element of repetition. Repeated musical ideas within the music. Repetition can cause some calmness, but as you listen to musical ideas grow, it creates sense of anticipation and the beating of your heart inside of your living human body can perhaps increase with the tension of the repetition because you don't know what is going to happen until... This is one of the effects of repetition, but also we are affected by the element of pitch. High and low sounds, pitches, affect the beating of your human heart. As a pitch rises, it creates tension. Your heart rate increases until the pitch results. Low pitches, on the other hand, Create calming in the brain inside of your living skull. Lower the heart rate of your heart beating inside of your living body. But they can also create a sense of anticipation, of mystery, 
we do not know what is going to happen. This is the great effect of peach. The next element is tempo. When tempo is steady, like grandfather clock, our heartbeat is relaxed and calm. But like pitch and volume, as tempo increases, heartbeat increases, makes us excited. Tempo can make music as scary. Listen to the way composer John Williams uses the first four elements, volume, pitch, repetition, and tempo, to make film score a scary to watch. Shut off that engine. Low pitch, low volume. Here, repetition. Here, pitch raising, volume raising, tempo increasing. That's a 20 footer. 25. It's scary, yes? The next element of music that makes music as scary is tonality. Tonality is the difference between major and minor mode in music. Major in music, for instance, sounds happy. Minor in music sounds Not so happy, maybe even slightly scary. To illustrate, listen to little holiday tune first played in major key. Happy, yes, yes. Then in minor. Not happy, maybe even a little bit scary. Perhaps, perhaps. The next element in music is when we take notes in music that rub together to create tension. They are what we call dissonance. Dissonance in music is the opposite of harmony. Notes that create tension, that build on one another until they must resolve. This is dissonance. Listen now to the way composer Johann Sebastian Bach uses dissonance and the minor tonality in his Takata in D minor for organ to sound scary. Listen. of music that is scary. Made scary because of tonality, use of dissonance, and one more musical element we must discover. This 
is the musical element of timbre. Timbre, spelled T-I-M-B-R-E, not T-I-M-B-E-R. That is timber, sound of falling tree. Timbre is quality of musical sound. Every instrument has quality of sound that makes it scary or not scary. For instance, we already heard organ. Pretty scary timbre of sound. Our sounds can be as scary. Strings can be scary. bells in church or church bells often a scary sound sometimes instruments in the band can be scary or not scary let's see do you think? Scary? Not scary? Little both? Perhaps. Some band instruments never scary. For instance, xylophone. Not scary? Scary. Eh, not so scary, the xylophone. Some instruments sound, some timbres sound more scary because of what you see with the sound. For instance, this one. A little more scary, perhaps because of visual image. Some sounds in music, some timbres, Never scary. A steel drum, for instance. Too fun to be scary. <laughs> Some instruments always sound happy, but could perhaps be a scary. The banjo, for instance. Timbre, not so scary, but a scary banjo player. Now, let us take these seven elements of music. Volume, pitch, repetition, tempo, tonality, dissonance, and timbre, and see how they might combine to get inside of your living brain and your beating heart. Sometimes the music will affect what you think is about to happen in film. For instance, watch this video. scary perhaps maybe but watch same video the great music and you see a scary not scary Oh, <laughs> 
make some different music, that video, not so scary. Yes? Yes. But sometimes within the film, what you are hearing will lead you to think terrible things are about to happen. Witnessing true story here. I know this fellow! So scary! Yes, poor feet! Sometimes, when listening to video, musical elements will cause your living brain to think things are happening which are not to be seen. For instance, in following video, listen only first, then I show you what is really happening. What are you hearing? Horrible things? Things which are scary? Let's see. scary to cultivate cat is scary maybe not so much to you so we have been covering the seven elements that make music scary but when you hear music incorrectly it is not so scary for instance here is our first musical example today O Fortuna by Carl Orff but with wrong lyrics. Not so scary, you see.
time. No, no. I hope you have enjoyed our study of the seven musical elements that make music scary. We have had fun, and next time, don't forget always count the beat. <laughs>